What's up guys, it's Francis Young bringing you guys a update on my Evil Swarm deck for November 2013. To sum it up, uh, Evil Swarms have been doing really well this format. I've been topping over everywhere. I mean, I think this deck's gonna get hit by the time we get to uh, December. Maybe Ophion will go to 2 or 1. I hope Rabbit doesn't get banned because then you gotta play like Kage to Kage's in this deck. Stuff like that. But uh, right now, Evil, Evil, I find this deck is pretty good. Its only main weakness is Constellar and Bujins, or mostly Constellar, but uh, this deck could stack up against the best decks like Prophecy and Dragons, so we'll just get started with the build. It's a bit dark because it's rainy today, so I'll try my best to show you guys my cards. Let's put it like that. There we go. So, one Rabbit. Of course, Rabbit uh, gets you your Ophion. That's why you play it. Nothing else to say about that. Three Healer Tropes. You could combo them with Caster or Rabbit. I mean, he's on 1950 bleed stick, so he's pretty good. He gets over Thunder King. Three caster, cause he's so good. He's my favorite one, cause you got extra normal summon and it can be Veiled. Another one of my favorite evil swims are these guys. Three Kirkion. You gotta play three of these. Uh, late game when this is top, this card's top deck. I mean, it gets you instant Ophion because of his effect. So yeah, Kirkion's good. I play two Thunderbirds and two Mandragoras. For Tenderbird, I don't like uh, extra normal summons, that's why I only play two, and Mandragora, he's kind of weak. So that's why I play two. Could play three Mandragoras, but I prefer protecting this card in. Ketos, because uh, your opponent plays Skill Drain, World Decrees, uh, Vanity's Emptiness, stuff like that, especially in Dragons. Then I'm using Dark Arm. I told you last month that I might be dropping this. But I said, uh, lately it's been doing good. In my deck, it's been uh, winning me games, so yeah. Play 2 maxi. Draw power, I don't play 3. This deck I try on Dueling Network, it's pretty good this build. I uh, play 1 hole for the staples, 1 book, and 1 rota. I don't see the need for a lure right now. I mean, my hands are pretty good. I haven't had any trouble, too much trouble. Play 2 MSTs. Basically back row. Two dress, because it protects your cards, protects or could protect rabbit when you summon the first turn, so it doesn't get Valor, they could protect your Ophion and mount your all your evil swarms. It's pretty good. I'm gonna play three pandemic. I don't want to run out of them. There's been a lot of duels where I run out of three. So three is enough pandemics. You gotta use it properly. Because mostly at the time your opponent will, will want you to use all your resources so that you get oh, rid of Ophion. One Infection, he's good. One Warning for the Traps. One Bottomless. One Prison. I don't see the need for two. It's very situational. One Compulse, Removal. One Torrential. And one Mirror Force. People play two, but it's situational this card. That's why I don't use it. I'd rather play these guys. Two Phoenix Chains. But it's a lot of work. It stops Bear. It stops a lot of monsters that you don't want. And two save zones to protect you below. So that's the main deck. It's 40 cards. It's pretty standard for an Evil Swarm deck. Look, Evil Swarm is really easy to play, I find. One of the most easiest decks to play. Uh, side, I play two Cyber Dragon. I don't play Thunder King anymore because I don't find Thunder King's good in this deck. It causes a lot of searching, so yeah. One Camera Attack to bust out your opponent's Draco Sack and bring this out. It's pretty funny. Use those dragons. Two of effect veilers and one BLS because I could play it. I'm gonna play on lantern. This card people realize is so good. So let's say your opponent has a trickle sack on the field on his turn. He summons his two tokens. He pops one of your tokens. His tokens tributes them to pop one of your monster or your spells, and it's your turn. You have this in your hand. Play this. You attack over the token, and then main phase two. You tribute it and you destroy the Draco Sack. So it's pretty good situations like that. One Fissure, one Macro, one Soul Drain. Basically, these are all one of cards that people don't like to side, don't like facing. EEV for Sabobooks. I place two Shallow Dark Illusions. Shallow to Ryo, one of my subscribers, for showing me this card. It's pretty good. What it does is it negates the activation of a uh, effect monster. A magic trap card or trap card that targets a dark monster, so it's a counter trap. And two mind drains, because it's dragons, of course, you want to stop. 
Then for the extra, it hasn't really changed. You play three Ophion, pretty standard. I don't think there's uh, anyone who plays two. You could play two, but I usually go through a lot in one, one game, go through two. One Bahamut, one Orboros. They're just there. One Black Ship, one Key Beetle. Crazy Box is so good in skill drain matchups when you're opponent size skill drain is for dragons they can't do anything this is 3k key beetle protects ophion nothing to say there and black ship he's good it's just there one gem apparel for mirror matches one dire wolf in case i need to pop something really quickly one cowboy for game abyss dweller for mermails and dark worlds and exactors and dragons anything that activates in your grave opponent's grave one pappy and one my stroke, the Symphony Gen, basically generics I play. And the last card, I don't play Utopia anymore, as you notice. I play Zen Mains because your opponent will be signing Exe Encore. So that's the end of my deck profile. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, uh, I haven't went to any tournaments lately. I hardly go. I just go watch sometimes at my locals. Or tomorrow's the sneak peek for Shadow Spectre, so I'll probably go, but I won't be taking part of it. There's nothing I need right now. Next pack, Legacy of Valiant. I'm probably going to get that uh, new Noble Swarm or Evil Swarm XZ that's like a Judgment Dragon. I think it's going to be expensive, but I hope uh, Evil Swarms will still be around by then. So let's... I'm going to let you guys go and rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Bye, guys.